it has been an entire year since I've posted my first video about my evolution simulator, which was also the first video on this channel. Oh, a lot has changed since then. This project has well evolved since then. Uh, 10 different coups have happened. Uh, 2023 has become the hottest year yet. Uh, everyone is panicking due to AI taking their jobs. Then AI was taking the artist jobs. No one expected that one. Uh, World War 3 is getting even closer to happening. And Burger King has started to close underperforming locations. You know, that's the real news everyone should be talking about. And if you're new here, then this not so little project is an evolution simulator called Vita Nova that simulates life itself. But you probably chose the best video to watch as I'll be recapping everything. So let's start at the, well, start of everything. Wait, no, too, too, too far. Uh, I meant this project. Okay, there we are. Uh, talk about humble beginnings, man. Uh, when I didn't know you had to actually speak into the microphone. And if you just echoes everywhere. Uh, those are supposed to be creatures and those are some little food pellets for them to eat. But this is a fully functioning evolution simulator, as there are some creatures that can live, die, lay eggs, and have children that are then mutated as their brains are slightly different. Uh, you know, this whole project was actually supposed to first be a test of a graphics library I was making, and this existed just to see if I could even get it to work. Uh, yeah, not the greatest example of well, high quality ray tracing graphics. But okay, okay, it's a bit boring now, so after some new sprites, with some new stats, we'll look some animations, it's a bit more interesting. Now they can change size, speed, and sight. So I'll now actually say this is actually an evolution simulator, as before, only changing brains, and after spending too much time optimizing this and fixing the brains, as I was too lazy the first time, version 1.0 was made. Now, okay, 1.0 as an evolution simulator was pretty basic. There were only like four ways life could change, as you had the brain and then those three different stats from earlier, but the creatures could only eat pellets, so only one niche to like evolve and specialize into. So overall, great start, but needs a bit more substance, something, you know, something to spice it up a little bit. But that's where 1.1 fit in, as that's when I added, or at least, try to add predation. No more are these creatures safe from bad decisions and now have to run or I guess, swim for their lives from dangerous predators. Or that at least that was the idea. Uh, the update sort of worked, sort of didn't. There can be predators, you know, if you make them and they, they can chase creatures, eat them and, you know, reproduce, they get enough energy from that. But they didn't evolve naturally. Or maybe they did, but I'm not gonna wait forever for that. Might as well just evolve it in real life at that point. Now after that, I went on a slight detour on making a really dumb text editor, but on the video after that, I was back on track. But for 1.1.1, I didn't really do much other than make the UI actually usable and also suffer through the worst thing to ever exist, the Antichrist itself, Windows. Like, holy shit, how can you make an OS that shit for coding? But I live to tell the tale and release the Windows port. Oh, I'm glad I don't use Windows anymore. And also I made a, another slight little detour. This one I'm more proud of. I automated YouTube and personally, I believe that YouTube isn't a real job. So I don't really care if AI is taking over those jobs because at least then the content will actually be original. Like everyone who does YouTube should just stop and like go on plumbing or uh, whatever. Wait, uh, no, actually everyone except me. 1.1.2 was the update where I decided to just completely redo how the AI worked uh, and try and go for a more advanced and modern way and just the overall better method of teaching the creatures and updating their neural networks. It didn't really work, but it's the thought that counts. Uh, the quick TLDR is that the previous method worked mostly through trial and error, while the new method tried to be smart about and actually learn, similar to how creatures do in real life. Uh, also, if you made up to here, then subscribe. Now, 1.1.3 was probably my least favorite update to do, because I had to experience the joy that is optimizing code, which is just boring and painful to go through. It's like being kicked in the balls non-stop while you're 
skin slowly gets peeled off, starting from that weird bit on your finger that just up all the way your entire arm. I hate it. But hey, now I can make the world really big and it runs smoothly. It wasn't worth it. But with all the suffering done, that leads us to the last update I made. 1.2, the Evolving Bodies update. The creatures are now fully capable of evolving and controlling individual limbs. The possibilities are endless, and this project can go to so many more places. And all it cost me was a decade of my life through the stress of just building, stealing, and then rebuilding a fully functional physics engine. It just caused the cortisol levels of my blood to spike out to some drinks with Bill Cosby. Maybe I should use my many trillions to get a blood boy, live forever like all the other elites. But back on track, now the evolving bodies was something that I promised since day one of this project and evolving bodies is another goal I want to reach. It is probably the most important feature yet uh, and also led me to copying that one evolution game, uh, the one where you make those little creature designs and then genocide the failures. But with literally everything recapped, that brings us to the now times uh, and also where this project is going to be going from here. As there are a lot of places where it could go. I've mostly since the last video just been optimizing it and also added dark mode as that is the most important feature in any program. But, but now what? Like well, the thing I'm planning to do for Vita Nova next is to get evolving plants in. I'm pretty much just gonna copy the general idea of life engine, if you know what that project is, and have everything start off as plants, and then after that they can evolve to be better plants or maybe hopefully evolve to move and then eat the plants and maybe other creatures that are moving or moving plants it, it's very weird there's a weird gray zone in between that's the main goal to hopefully end up doing but it will take a while and take multiple videos as simulating life itself has turned out to be a bit tricky to do though i might take a small break from this project yeah, yeah, I know it sounds bad, but I want to do something else other than this. Don't want to just be known as the evolution simulator guy. Gotta diversify your portfolio if you want to survive. You know what? I'll give you a little sneak peek on what I'm working on. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get, so maybe subscribe and maybe you'll find out what that whole sneak peek was about. Though I'll also be posting stuff on my Discord server, which I usually post sneak peeks and updates on what's going on and download links, though I do now have an itch.io page if you just want to download stuff. And hopefully in another year, I won't just abandon and give up on this whole thing, as that means I have wasted an entire year of my life. Nah, I'll stick around for a bit. Nothing can stop me now, I'm monetized. I'll be here for a thousand more years at least. So anyways, like, comment something, join the Discord, and subscribe with the bell button on to make the algorithm like me more, and see you in the next video.